A few weeks ago, I sold a $1,500 website and just 24 hours later, I messaged my client saying, hey, your website is ready. In the past, a website like this used to take me three or even four weeks to fulfill. And when I first started out, I was charging as low as $150 for an entire site. So if you're stuck charging low prices or drowned with client fulfillment, then this video is perfect for you. In this video, I'm gonna cover three things. The first is how did I get this client? The second will be what kind of website he needed. And third, how I actually go about selling and deploying websites in 24 hours. Sell and deploy is a method that I came up with for my agency using a platform called High level instead of doing a lot of ongoing fulfillment for clients i do a lot of the work up front and then deploy this as a system how did i get this client this client specifically came from my organic content my youtube but here's the thing i've landed clients with cold calling instagram Facebook groups, and even in person via door knocking. I personally know agency owners making $15,000 a month or more with these four methods right here. So it's not just like there's the one hidden or perfect method. All methods work. You just need to pick one and then commit to becoming the best that you can at that method. So I know somebody that does low volume, but very high personalized cold emails and looms. And that's how he gets clients for his agency. I hear a lot of people say that because they're in Europe or like a smaller country that they're having trouble breaking into the US, Canada, or Australia markets. Well, I know somebody that is using LinkedIn to get clients in a small country in Europe. So taking something that kind of looks like a disadvantage, making it to his advantage, the amount of businesses that he can help is smaller. But the thing is, there's way less competition. So he's able to land clients this way. I know somebody that cold calls contractors and books about 20 appointments a week on his calendar. Another way that an agency owner that I know is getting clients is by running ads in a non English speaking country. So you see four different ways of getting clients for the second part of the video is what kind of website did he need. So I hop in a call with this client and more specifically, this is an info slash coaching client and he wanted to convert leads from cold traffic, especially like from running his ads to book sales call and to qualify them as well. He was launching his Facebook ads in three days. So he needed something to be deployed for his business very, very quickly. The problem that he was currently facing is that he had a low converting and low trust funnel in the past. So even though he might be running great ads, this funnel was not converting for him. Now I've talked to a lot of agency owners that always ask me, how can you land higher ticket clients? I'm stuck charging 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks, kind of like fiber style prices for just like a full on commoditized web design. The thing to understand as a quick side note right here is that the type of clients that I'm going after and the clients that these guys right here are trying to get to are completely different than just somebody that needs a quote unquote pretty website. Some of the characteristics for that is a client that has a high high ticket offer. Second thing is this client valued fast execution. And generally these type of business owners are okay paying more for speed. Think about it like you order something from FedEx or Amazon. One type of delivery method might take like two weeks and it's cheaper. But if you want to get your package the next day, it's going to be more expensive. So this is kind of like the logic behind the type of customers that value speed. And then third, this client had a pain that I could solve. So if you go back here, he had a funnel in the past that he was running at to that was not converting for him. So that's something that I can definitely help him at my agency. To give you an example, so I can illustrate my point right here. I had an agency owner that was telling me how he was struggling to sell websites for even 500 bucks to barbers for the average barber that is charging 20 bucks per cut for him to justify a $500 website would mean that he needs to get at least 30 cuts from that website for him to break even. So somebody that's thinking in this type of logic is not going to value that website. Imagine a landscaper, a roofer, or even in this case, like a lawyer where the average client that he gets is going to be worth a thousand or even tens of thousands of dollars is going to make it more likely. So the solution that you offer in the market, even though it's like virtually the same, is going to make it so a higher ticket niche right here is willing to pay higher prices. All right. So now you know how I got this client and kind of like what website he needed and kind of like my offer and positioning in the market. Now I'm going to show you how I sold and deployed this website in 24 hours, which in total took me four hours of work. So usually how my sell and employ system looks like is something like this. First, I identify the problem that the client has on the sales call. So we already went over this right here. His offer was kind of like a B2B info slash coaching offer. And he needed a highly converting funnel for the ads that he was going to run. And he needed this funnel ASAP. So once I know what the client
client needs. I go ahead and collect some more info. Now, some clients have more information than others. In his case, all that he had was his main offer and kind of like a few benefits. And I'm going to show you how even if you're not an expert on the niche, you can use AI right here to be able to come up with winning copy in just a sec. After I had these two right here, what I did for him and what I usually do is select one of the highly converting websites that I've already built up front. So in this case, I'm going back to high level, which is the software that I mentioned in the beginning I use. If you don't know what high level is, think like all of the best software in the market. If all of these software had a baby, it would be this software right here. It can help you get clients, build your website, collect payments and a bunch of other cool things. So I am here on the websites. And again, this client told me that he needed a highly converting funnel for his offer. He gave me a few examples, kind of like modern slash info product Eman Gaji type style of funnels. In his case, based on his needs, I went for a funnel, which is this funnel right here. So this is what this funnel looks like. As you can see, it's very clean, very modern, and it's very simple. We're optimizing for conversions. I've gone ahead and selected my website right here. What I would do is go ahead and click this three dots right here and select clone and then be able to add it to a different sub account within my environment that I want to deploy this website for. So I would go ahead and create the copy. In this case, I'm not going to do this. What I would then do is go ahead and start editing the website. The cool thing about sell and deploy is that because I've done all of the work up front, now all I have to do is add some of the back end, change the copy, the testimonials, and then that's how I'm able to deploy this as a high ticket offer for a client. The first thing that I would do is swap the colors and the logos. I built this website so it saves me a lot of the work. The first thing is, let's say I wanted to change the colors right here. What I would do is go to a website like this, coolers.co. It's like a color generator palette. If you see that I hit space right here, I can change to different colors. Let's say that my client wanted a green, like kind of like blue like this. Or actually what I'm going to do is go to the picker and make it so that it's kind of like this green right here copy the color, go back to my website. Right now you see that the whole website is blue, like this muted blue. What I'm going to do is click this right here and then go ahead and swap my color that I've just copied here, paste it, hit save. And now you see that the entire website has now changed color to green, the buttons, the effects, even this spotlight effect that you see here at the top. Of course, there's a few things that I would change right here. And to do this, I would just go ahead and change this specific color. So I'm going to click on the color, hit update. In this case, I do need to put it in the hex code manner. So what I'm going to do is go back here, switch this back to picker, which is going to give me the hex value, copy this, and then go ahead and swap this color right here, hit update. And now you see how I've changed this bullet points, which I hadn't changed before are now changed. I would go ahead and swap the logos as well. So there's only a couple places where I would need to change this, which is here at the top and then here as well. I'm going to click this right here and then I would just go ahead and change the logo. Let's, let's just pretend it's this one right here. The next thing that I would do is go ahead and change the copywriting for this. As I mentioned, I use chat GPT. Now, in this case, I'm not going to say exactly what, what my client's niche was, but let's say that for this example, it was a B2B corporate law type of offer. So it offered like coaching and some info product as well on the the back of that. So what I would do is I would go to chat GPT and I'm going to show you right here the exact prompts that I use when I'm building websites for my clients. So in this case, I have this prompt right here. I have a web design client. I need help. This is what he does. And then I say a little bit more of instructions. Help me come up with the copy specifically. We're going to start with the hero, which is a headline, sub headline, call to action. And then the message should be clear, concise and highly converting. So anyways, chat gave me a few variations right here. And a lot of the times what I do is start kind of like playing around with it. I give it what I currently have right now and I told them to make it better and so on. So it gives me like a few alternatives right here. So in this case, I said, here's my current hero section, but I need to make it more compelling and outcome focused. So anyways, let's say that this is what chat gives me. What I would do is copy this right here. In my case, I've already done it, but I would just replace this like you see me doing right here. So attention, small business owners. This is not perfect right now. Like I'm just showing you an example live. So you see that the entire process, because I've done a lot of the work up front, it's not taking me that much. In my case, as I mentioned, it took me four hours to fulfill for my client. The next thing that I would do is go ahead and swap these uh, images right here. So if my client had specific clients that he's already worked for, I can just replace this right here. Now my client already had a VSL recorded, so I just needed to get that from him, add it right here, and then 
cool thing is that because all of this is already placeholders for the testimonials, it was very easy to just go ahead and change the copy right here. So that's kind of like in a nutshell how I go about writing copy as well. Now for the last step is the backend. So this is everything behind the website. If the client has calendars, if he's taking any payment, if there's any sort of automation or even AI, like I showed in previous videos for this client specifically, he wanted just a calendar. And in a nutshell, what my client wanted to do is somebody lands on his funnel from an ad and then they book a call on his calendar. So right now I have two test calendars right here for my client. What I did is created a brand new calendar. So there's a few options. And I think what I'm going to do is do a separate video just specifically on more backend automations and all of that stuff for high level for right now. I wanted to focus more on the high level of what sell and deploy is. So in this case, I'm going to go to my book a call page right here, which is the second page. And here, what I would do is just connect my calendars. So let's say it's this one right here. So now you see how we have a complete website. Of course, there's some more automations that I would do on the back of this right here. But we had a website that was already fully done. We changed a few things, added a calendar, and now we can deploy this or show this to the client as a finished product. If you want to start your own sell and deploy agency, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link at the bottom of this video. I'm going to give you access to our entire system. So that includes the website templates, AI bot training scripts, access to our own community. So if you're new to high level, this is the best way for you to get access to all of our systems and plug and play to your agency. Now, if you're an existing go high level user, you can click the second link in the description and you can buy our entire system from our store.